What's happening guys? So I hit a 22 NRL shoot last weekend. Loads of fun. If you haven't checked one out, check it out. You'll have a blast at it. Uh, but I was preparing for the shoot and of course the, night, the day before went down, made sure my rig was uh, zeroed in, no problems at all. And uh, so I, I didn't want to go into the shoot and have a uh, brand new clean barrel. So that night before when I was shooting, I, I did clean it. I probably had maybe 30 rounds, I'm guessing, through it, 40, something like that. But, you know, the, the followers, I shot those through and had the gun perfectly zeroed on. Went to the shoot in the morning and did my uh, couple of test shots, and I was 0.1 ml to the left. Don't know why. Did a bunch of shots, made sure it was on that way, and indeed it was 0.1 ml off. So I adjusted the, the scope and proceeded to shoot in the, in the match. Well, at the last stage, we had a know your limit target, and the, the smallest target, I couldn't hit the damn thing. Did 10 shots, I think, whatever it was, but I missed them. And normally I can tear it up, no problem at all. So today, I'm out here, and I didn't touch my gun at all. Still, this is dirty, didn't touch a thing. And I wanna see, is it repeatable? Is it still off that? Um, and if so, why was it off? And I've heard things like, the barrel's dirty, or clean, or the temperature uh, makes a big difference. So maybe like in the morning versus the evening, uh, is the barrel warmed up? Um, and uh, sometimes are the is the suppressor making a difference? Now I did shoot uh, with a suppressor on, so like I said, this is the exact setup I shot with. And uh, but yeah, I kind of want to nail down some of the variables and see if we can figure out you know what it is. Maybe you guys can use it too. Um, but what I have going on here, uh, this is an end shoots. Uh, 22 to 1710 and I got a Trigicon scope and uh, we're using a labrador to check our velocities and uh, yeah that's what we got here shooting at 50 yards trying to keep things kind of pretty uh, not having wind hopefully make as big of a difference so we can try to standardize that uh, that's what we got let's see what we can do when the gun's still dirty we're going to check suppressed and unsuppressed, five shots each, five, 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 that pattern, so that way we're not warming the gun up, doing a bunch of, uh, uh, a bunch of suppressed, and then doing a bunch of unsuppressed. I'll go ahead and I'll clean the barrel out, we'll come down here, and this will be the clean barrel shots. Same thing, suppressed, unsuppressed. Okay, this is our first round, dirty gun, just came out of the car. Today we're looking at the size of the groups only. I was doing some different tests so I, I didn't change my doping so a lot of them aren't centered and uh, you may notice some differences between a suppressed and non-suppressed. Uh, we'll worry about all that in a different video. We're just looking at the grouping size only for comparison here. So this is round three with a dirty gun with the suppressor on the rifle. And we're just gonna combine all of these shots to get a little idea of what was happening. So there's the first five, the next five. And the numbers at the top are just the barrel temperature. We'll talk about those at a different video. Here's our last five of the 15. And next we're gonna look at the rifle without the suppressor. Five shots again. And remember, we did alternate five suppressed, five non suppressed, back and forth. They weren't taking 15 shots straight. And just a few passes with a boar snake is all I'm doing to clean the barrel. Seven degrees. The rifle's been cleaned out and we took our new shots. We'll start looking at the suppressed clean rifle. And we did five shots per group. 
did a total of 25 shots here. Here we're comparing the clean grouping of the suppressed rifle with the dirty. Clean and dirty. Clean and dirty. I think you get the idea. Suppressor has been removed from the rifle, clean rifle, and here we got the grouping size. I think I did 20 shots here. And the last one. And the suppressed rifle, clean versus dirty comparison. And the dirty versus clean on the rifle without the suppressor. After combining all the groups, the size was measured with the Ballistics app, Advanced Edition. You can use the Ballistics app to measure the grouping. Here you can use with a micrometer. Either way works fine. So the round three results. On average, the suppressed barrel lost about 9 feet per second. There was no change in the standard deviation. And the group height is improved by half of an inch. So it's a half of an inch smaller of a group. And the width was down 0.4 inches. The non-suppressed rifle was even more dramatic. While also losing about 10 feet per second in average velocity and no change in the standard deviation, our group height went from 1.4 inches down to four tenths of an inch, or 0.8 inches smaller of height. The width is down about a half of an inch narrower. Another quick example is comparing round two and round four, with round two being the dirty rifle and round four using a clean rifle. Now these were done on two different days, but the temperatures were pretty close. Comparing round two, the dirty rifle, with round four, a clean rifle, in this example, the average velocity decreased by 19 feet per second by cleaning the rifle. Standard deviation is actually increased by one, so one worse, and the group height is improved by 0.1 inches and the group width by 0.4 inches. On the non-suppressed rifle, the average velocity is down 16 feet per second the standard deviation is up by 2, and the group height is 0.4 inches improved, going from 1 inch to 0.6 inches. There is no change in the group width in this test. In summary, by cleaning the rifle, we do expect to see a decrease in overall velocity, but the group height and group width improve both in the suppressed and non-suppressed rifle.